Broadcasting from our studios in the UK. Heard around the world. Automatic musical instruments. On app, on Alexa speakers and online. Tuesday Night Live. With James Dundon. Evening one and all, welcome to it. A bit of a special Tuesday Night Live tonight, because later on we're joined by organ builder David Burville of Repair Shop fame. Uh, he was behind the application to get mechanical organ building listed and in, as an endangered craft, uh, which should open up some exciting opportunities and interest. We'll tell you all about it tonight david's on the show and of course while he's on we'll ask him a few questions get the gossip on filming of the bbc one hit show uh also for you we have a one second song that i think is very easy and a connect for that is very 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 easy so there's no excuses for not playing along with the games tonight come on get involved tuesday night live through till 10 starting with an instrument, of course, that's been associated with the Burville family for many, many years, Mortier Organ de Kleisberg, and it's playing here the Midi March. <laughs> Your organ to Kleisberg, an old recording of the uh, organ uh, down at Wingham Engineering. David Barlow there at the keyframe. The incredible acoustics that they applied to that LP record back in the day. Uh, no, it's just lovely to hear a joyful instrument now with a Saunders Steam collection, but toured with the Burville family for many, many years. David Burville, the organ builder, joining us on Tuesday Night Live a little bit later on, Mechanical Music Radio. Also, a bit later, I've got another track from our Instrument of the Week, Langer Gavioli. Stay tuned for that. And our Tuesday talking point tonight, we always like to get you talking on social media. We're asking you the instrument you've always wanted to hear live but have never seen in person. There's something about when you, you know, if you've 
always seen pictures of an instrument or, you know, watch videos of it on YouTube, when you finally get to see it live, there is nothing quite like it. Uh, Vicky Rogers says, Frank Lithgow's 98 Key Marenghi. I did see it back in 1991 at Dorset, but not since then. And that was a fair old time ago, Vicky. And let me tell you, blimey, it sounds good now. We had uh, Alan Guest, the organ builder, on a few weeks ago to tell us about the work involved in bringing that back up to uh, to, to the current level. Uh, what else we got here? Um, oh, uh, Johnny Pritchard said, I would love to see the Ga- Gavioli in the San Filippo collection in the US. Which Gavioli? Of course, uh, the uh, Jonas Gavioli, which is an instrument I haven't seen since it left Cornwall, so I'd love to see that too. Uh, Let us know. Uh, Discussion's ongoing. You can join in on our social media. Search for us on Facebook, Mechanical Music Radio. Kirka, that is called Sway, and more music like that, of course, with our happy hour, weekday afternoons at three, and you can listen again to that and all our other programmes on our Listen Again service, so as well as being live 24 hours a day, you'll never miss a moment, you'll find a music theme that suits you, whether it be an hour of Fair Organs for Fair Organ Thursday, uh, or perhaps you want uh, the best of the US. When it comes to American band organs, we've got two best of US shows that are updated every day for you to listen to. Uh, Download and subscribe in your podcast app, uh, search us out, or go to our website, mechanicalmusicradio.com. Click listen again. Four songs, but what's the connection? Mechanical Music Radio's Connect Four. Here we are, coming up to ten past nine in the UK. Welcome wherever you are listening in the world to Tuesday Night Live, the fun and games with James. And this game is called Connect Four, and it's dead easy. I'm going to play you four pieces. You'll get to enjoy four different organs, instruments, uh, doing their mechanical music thing. Uh, But you've got to work out what connects these four pieces. There's a theme in the four songs I'm going to play you back to back. So what is the theme tonight? Let me know when you've worked out the answer, mechanicalmusicradio.com. Of course, you can also pick up your mobile and send us a message. Standard text charges apply. The number is 07871 221 511. 
Get in touch when you think you know what the connection is. And remember, we always play along with Fastest Finger First, so I wonder he'll be in touch with the correct answer in the fastest time. Three, two, one, go. Here's the first one. It's Save Your Kisses for Me. Mechanical Music Radio's Connect Four.
an easy, easy Connect Four tonight. I don't think you'll have any problems with this one. Uh, we played Save Your Kisses for Me and Waterloo. So we've had, so what we have, Brotherhood of Man and ABBA so far. Uh, if uh, if you know what tonight's Connect Four could be, what what's the theme that we're going for here with these four songs? Get in touch, mechanicalmusicradio.com. Third track, Making Your Mind Up. <laughs> Mechanical Music Radio's Connect Four. Well, hopefully a nice, easy connect for tonight. Pop it on a string on the ex Tugel Brothers Mortier. And so what do we... Hang on, let's take it from the top here. We played Save Your Kisses For Me, Waterloo, Making Your Mind Up, and Pop It On A String. Have you got tonight's connect for? It's easy when you know the answer. Now, don't be one of those people that listen to the radio 
and never co- contact us. I, I want to hear from you. If you're a new listener, we've got lots of people tuned in in eager anticipation of organ builder David Burville joining us on the show for a chat in the next 10 minutes. So if you are locked on to this programme and it's the first time you've listened, or maybe you're a regular listener and you've never sent us an email or a text, then please do make tonight your first night. Get involved in the programme. I'm absolutely live and I will give you a mention on the radio in the next five minutes. If you can tell me what connects the four. The pieces we played were Save Your Kisses For Me, Waterloo, Making Your Mind Up and Puppet On A String. Any ideas? Get in touch now. It's really simple. Just go to our website, mechanicalmusicradio.com and you can send me a message on there. What connects these four then? Save Your Kisses For Me, Waterloo, Making Your Mind Up and Puppet On A String. Get in touch. Text the studio now. 07871 221 511 or email through our website mechanicalmusicradio.com Tuesday Night Live. Mechanical Music Radio. Looking for roles for your hand-turned organ? Over 2,000 titles available from the French suppliers Cochard & Co. The world-class arrangements of Hido Van Os and Tom Meyer are now available for all Raffin scales, with an option to listen to an arrangement before you buy. As well as paper roll, Sebastien Cochard also supply cardboard book music for many scales. Please visit cochardandco.fr, also on Facebook and Instagram.
songs but what's the connection mechanical music radios connect four well hopefully a somewhat easy connect four for you tonight uh the tunes we played save your kisses for me waterloo making your mind up and pop it on a string and the fastest finger first in holland john van cleef gets it bang on and then I had an email from Paul Rogers. He comes a close second. And Julia Raven was third. Well done, you three. Uh, also, Thomas Potter. Hello to Keith Pinner, who gets it bang on as well. Uh, Peter Mackett also coming in with the right an- answer. So does Andrew Rota. And uh, Michael Clark in Leeds. Hello to Ben Jackson. Josh in Camborne as well. Uh, cheers to oh I don't know who that text is from but thank you Duncan who's listening in Preston thank you so much Vicky Rogers also with a correct answer hello to Diana in Dorset who gets the answer also Keith's uh, sister uh, they always connect up every week listening uh, across the uh, across the the seas uh, connected with this show. Uh, blimey, had loads of texts. Bill Warder and Denise Rogers also coming in with a correct answer. We also need to say well done to Mandy and Alan. Lovely to hear from you both. Um, Ingmar from grindorgans.com says he's stumped, but that's okay. You, you, you'll probably get it as soon as you, uh, as, as soon as I make it more clear. Hello also to William Frisk as well, Giller up at Fradden, and many others for getting tonight's Connect Four. We'd better reveal all. Sorry if I haven't had time to mention you. I'll put you out of your misery. So these are all Eurovision winners from years gone by. So the Eurovision Song Contest happened the weekend just gone, and we played you Eurovision winners. So if we go through, and actually I have actually done some research here. I know, research. Fancy that. Uh, the uh, the puppet on a string called Sandy Shaw in 1967. And we did Save Your Kisses for Me. That was Brotherhood of Man from 1976. We also had ABBA, Waterloo, uh, which we played from 1974. And Making Your Mind Up from Bucks Fizz. It was Eurovision winners, of a lot of them. So I hope you enjoyed uh, that Connect for a Eurovision theme tonight. <laughs>
of a centenary organ uh, as digitised from cassette. If you like the sound of that, of course, the Archives Hour every morning at nine. One of the new shows we've added to our schedule in the last five weeks. You can listen again to all our programmes and get involved at mechanicalmusicradio.com where you can also see an updated schedule of what we offer, whether it be an hour of the best of the US American band organs or... Dutch Instruments, our Dutch Organ Club is every morning at 8 o'clock as well. Again, listen again, mechanicalmusicradio.com. Still to come, your requests from 10 o'clock, and already we've got a big list of stuff stacked up, so make sure yours is in there, mechanicalmusicradio.com. And the Tuesday Talking Point continues on social media. We're asking you the instrument you've always wanted to hear live, but you've never seen it in person. Bill Warder would love to hear the Australia Fair Verbeck concert organ which would be a fair old flight, Bill. (laughs) But there you go. That does uh, get toured widely and we play it on the radio station. Easier to shove a request in. Uh, Also, Craig Bennett says, quite a few, Pettigrove's 89 key gavioli and the gallopers. I'd love to see them back together and on the road. Yeah, the combination of the two would be lovely. Uh, You can get involved at Tuesday Talking Point. Search us out on Facebook, Mechanical Music Radio. Now... Our instrument of the week, and you can see a picture of this. It's a picture of uh, the Langer Gavioli, which last visited around eight years ago. It came to the UK to the October Oktoberfest event in 2016, an event we really enjoyed at Mizzen's Railway that Paul Kiraj, fellow mechanical music radio presenter, ran for around ten years. So you can see a lovely uh, action shot of the instrument being the guest headliner about eight years ago. We'll let you hear it now. A beautiful waltz on Langer Gavioli, our instrument of the week. Mechanical Music Radio's Instrument of the Week. Mechanical Music Radio, Tuesday Night Live with James Dundon. Hello, hello. Right, so a bit of important news we've heard this week. The making and restoring of mechanical organs is now on the endangered crafts list. 
What does that mean? Sounds a bit drastic. Or could it be good news because heads are turning towards our movement? Let's find out. The man that did the work to get it on the list is organ builder David Burville, of course, repair shop star. Hello, David. Hey, James, you're all right. <laughs> it's great to speak to you, mate. Now, this is. Uh, oh, I do. This looks like quite a big bit of work that you had to do to submit this application and get it uh, recognised by Heritage Crafts. Yes, it. Um, we we joined we joined Heritage Crafts last year, and um, uh, with the intention of of going down this route. Um, and it is it's, it's quite a quite a lengthy process. There's a, a, a lot of long forms to fill in, and paperwork is not my forte. Um, so <laughs> fortunately, my wife Kelly, she she did a lot of that side of things. Um, but yeah, we basically had to explain um, and and verify, you had to give them evidence and this sort of thing of, of why um, the craft was, um, you know, so, so endangered. And um, it was, it was for us a really important really important thing to do um we, we've we've not got enough people really um who are learning these skills um and so yeah very 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 important and very very glad it was actually passed because other things on the endangered crafts list uh, things like glass blowing and you know making of wooden wheels and things that you know, people know about, but so many people still don't know about the history of the mechanical organ. And, and, you know, even now I take my instrument out to events and people are like, what's this? I've never seen anything like it. You know, it's almost like the, the people have managed to avoid them through the years. Uh, and they've never seen any, you know, never seen a mechanical organ. Yeah, you're right. The, um, the amount of these endangered crafts is is huge and they are in the public eye but mechanical organ building is is one of those things that's that's just been overlooked and um but the sad thing is is that you've still got these instruments traveling around you've still got them in fairgrounds you've still got them in museums and collections and and that sort of thing um but the the actual interest in them uh, into as far as building and restoring um that is really unfortunately we're not getting the people involved um that need to carry these things on you know and um so yeah it's it's a it is it's a strange situation really but hopefully with the heritage crafts um, group um, now on board um, that is going to really help to promote put it into the public eye um, you know and and hopefully we can draw from them um, from a, a, a pool of sort of apprentices youngsters who are maybe uh, getting involved in projects to do with heritage crafts and they will see organ building as one of the listed endangered crafts and think, Oh, that sounds interesting, you know? And, um, because it's, it's one of those, it's one of those trades that I cannot genuinely think of very many other trades and crafts that involve so many different skills it really is, and, and that for me is what keeps me interested, is the variety um, that, that you have within one instrument, you know. Yeah, yeah. No, you're right, because, you know, if you make wooden wheels, there's only so many different ways that you want to make those wooden wheels. But organ building, it's leather work, it's metal work, it's painting, it's carving, it's woodwork, it's uh, well, even how vo to voice pipes and tune it and uh, musical knowledge and all that sort of thing it's just so much all together yeah absolutely absolutely and and you do you 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 have to be 
jack of all trades sort of thing <laughs> and uh, to, to to get the things to come together and um yeah and and i think from a um from a point of view of of getting apprentices and people interested once they're aware of of that then i think that's a that's a huge draw um hopefully into the the, the craft and the trade because there aren't very many other things that you can combine all of those things and at the end of it you've got this beautiful looking thing that that plays music and you know it's it's not just a static piece of furniture or or you know a, a carriage or something like that it, it's a combination of so many different elements and uh yeah it's, it's uh, so hopefully hopefully this will do a lot of good and and get a, a lot of wider interest you know all right. Uh, it's Tuesday Night Live. We're joined by David Burvel, organ builder and repair shop star. And we're back with him in just a moment for a bit more of a chat here at Mechanical Music Radio. Mechanical Music Radio's One Second Song. Yes, let's, uh, let's do this before we talk more to David Burvel. The One Second Song. And we'll reveal the answer to this at the end of the programme tonight. Now, I think you're going to surprise yourself tonight when I play you this music clip. I don't think you'll have any any problems at all in identifying it. I can just imagine now some people have already got blank emails open with their, their uh, fingers hovering above the keyboard, ready to type the answer and send it in. People do get very overexcited. What is this one second song? Have a listen. Here it is. Easy. Come on. Name that tune. Okay, if you think you know, mechanicalmusicradio.com and click the contact section, send us an email, let me know. We would love to hear from you. All right, let me know what the one second song is. As a little um, clue, I suppose, it's the Oktoberfest organ at the Flower of May Holiday Park in Scarborough. The reason I've chosen it is because we call, we've got David Burvel on, the man who restored it most recently. Uh, so, uh, yeah, there you go. Let's see. This, this show isn't thrown together. I put thought into it. What's this? Get in touch now. Text the studio now. 07871 221 Five double one, or email through our website, mechanicalmusicradio.com.
Tuesday Night Live. Mechanical Music Radio. Rollcutter.com is the place to go for organ plans and parts. Peter and Rosemary Hood are proud to announce that they've purchased the J Omega business from Dr. John Whale. J Omega has become the go-to site for MIDI boards, also known as whale boards, for so many of us in the organ world. In order to keep continuity, they're keeping the J Omega website and extending the sales field to include shipping to the USA and Canada. Visit them at rollcutter.com. It's Tuesday Night Live, it's Mechanical Music Radio. Join tonight special guest David Burville, the organ builder and repair shop star. And the reason we've got you on, David, is because you've worked very hard uh, getting the art of organ building recognised on the red list of endangered crafts. For heritage crafts, they release a different list every year and there's all the sort of traditional crafts that you'll uh, know and love that are, are dying out, things even like Cornish hedge building. Down this way, David, we don't build Cornish hedges <laughs> like we used to. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, that's no. on the list. And now we've got mechanical organs as well. And we should say... For anyone who might have thought of the back of their, line, their mind, oh, I wonder if that includes church organs. Well, church organs was listed um, some years ago on the on the uh, endangered crafts, wasn't it, as a separate entity? Yes, yes, yeah, and I think um, that you know it was it was thought maybe that mechanical organs would be covered by that, but of course they're two totally different things. They stem from the same basic technology, but. Um, they they went so radically far apart, um, and so to to get that um, individual listing for mechanical organ building is is absolutely fantastic, and uh, it really does open things up um, for for our our wonderful hobby and craft and that sort of thing. Mm-hmm. Well, mechanical organ building and restoration is uh, listed. Uh, on that Heritage Crafts website as a red list endangered craft, which uh, is good because it means that it will get noticed. It might even get funding, apprenticeship opportunities. There's all sorts in there. And the page is is really well done. Bit of history about mechanical organs, uh, talking about the techniques and the subcrafts, which do include music boxes, pianolas, reed organs, because it's all part of the mechanical music family, isn't it, David? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, you know, we can only hope that maybe later on some of those other crafts are actually, you know, given their own status sort of thing. Um, but at, at the moment, yeah, to, to have that to have that um, listed under that one blanket, that's that's absolutely brilliant. You know, um, it's it's it is. It's such a it's such a a wonderful a wonderful thing. And um, we just need, desperately need, to get that set for the future, so that we're we're not losing we're not losing these instruments, and uh, and that would be awful, awful. All right. Well, the report is online for everyone to see, and it does list the six current full-time organ builders that do this. Uh, I was going to say for the money, but they don't, no, no organ builder really does it for the money, I don't think. It's uh, the uh, the six, and we'll, we'll name-check them. Obviously, we've got David Burville, who we're speaking to now from Burville Organs, Richard Dean from Dean Organ Builders, Andrew Pilmer from AC Pilmer Automatic Music Limited, Alan Guest in Lancashire from AC Guest Organs, uh, we've got Kevin Mears from Mears Organs and Rob Barker from Rob Barker Organs. And those are the full-time ones, aren't they, David? Of course, there's so many other yeah, people yeah. Who, who know the craft and work very hard. This is it. It was, it was very difficult. The, 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 um, it was very strict on their status and, and this sort of thing. And, um, you know, there are a lot more organ builders out there i mean johnny ling rob harris um uh, judith howard um you know to name a few and um uh, you know but that was the that was the main list of current um you know mechanical organ builders um in in the country you know um we just hope that that list will grow 
Perfect, mate, yeah. And we thank you all for your hard work and diligence in keeping things going, David. Now, um, we, we must talk about the repair shop while you're on, mate. So you, we do we do see you pop up on the telly and you, you take on all sorts of things. I've seen you do a mechanical fire engine and a little sort of reed organ that you pump and play a keyboard off. You have also tackled a couple of more mechanical instrument style things. Yes, yes, yeah. I've I've been fortunate enough to do uh, a couple of barrel pianos. One one a little a little sort of uh, tiny one, uh, and then a full size um, old original one. And um, and that's unfortunately the closest I've got on the show to um, you know mechanical instruments. But um, yeah, they certainly they certainly give me some wonderful things. <laughs> the variety of stuff, you know. And again, this is this is one of the points that because the mechanical organ building covers so many different um, skills, mechanical woodworking, as as you mentioned, all of them. Um, I, I'm very lucky that I can turn my hand to various different things, you know, and um, and it's, it's it's great because it it does it does make a change. I love doing the organ work, you know, <laughs> but it's um, it's equally as interesting to uh, to do some of these other things, you know, and the joy it brings is is just absolutely fantastic. Absolutely yeah, fantastic. those those re- reveal moments where someone sees what what you've managed to achieve with what they bought in. What I mean, that must be a special moment that you'll always remember as well. Never mind how they feel. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's 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 every emotion under the sun, really. You're 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 scared because you you're hoping that you've done a good enough job for them, and that it's what they remember, and and this sort of thing. And it is it's a a, a real. Um, position to be put in because you're dealing with something that is so special to that person um and their trust in you is phenomenal you know and um but obviously you're you're excited for them um and then once that blanket or cloth comes off um oh yeah it's 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 relief it's it's you know everything <laughs> every, and and the floods of tears that we all are in sometimes is just is just incredible you know it's it's um yeah it's it's a wonderful wonderful moment it's a real real buzz real buzz yeah and i've been to the wheel and down museum where the repair shops filmed i've seen the barn from a distance they had it cordoned off so you could just sort of look across at it it is a genuine yeah. barn this is not a tv set this is you know if the magic no. is there isn't it yeah, absolutely, absolutely, and and we can vouch for you know it, it is drafty and it is cold, <laughs> and, um, but we still we still love going down, you know, and um, yeah, it, it's it's I mean I couldn't think of a better location really. It's um, it's a beautiful place, and um, uh, you know we 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 get to have, have a wander off at lunchtime and look around the museum and oh, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So yeah, very, very lucky. That's fantastic. And uh, is it, as we see on the telly, you experts, do you genu- genuinely help each other out and look after each other? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And, and I mean, the wealth of knowledge down there is, is incredible. Um, they did, they did put a figure on it and it was hundreds and hundreds of years of combined knowledge, you know, which is, uh, which is phenomenal. But yeah, I mean, again, there's so many of us that actually cross over, um, in, in our skill sets. And, um, I, I remember having a conversation between, um, Susie, the saddler and, um, and Dean Westmoreland, who's the cobbler, um, and we were we were just talking about leather, one one material, and you know to to and Susie said, isn't that incredible that that we can stand here three totally different trades and just geek out about this one material that we all <laughs> use and and do these different techniques with and different applications you know and um yeah yeah so no it, it it is very much a we do call it the barn family and um yeah it very much is uh, 
very much is that, you know. So, yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah. It's brilliant. We we really do enjoy uh, seeing it on the telly and, and you bring your expertise with everyone else. I, I really do uh, admire you all. You can, ladies and gentlemen, go to the Weald and Downland Living Museum Organ Extravaganza. The date has been confirmed Sunday the 24th of September 2023. Keep your eye on social media channels, in particular the group Mechanical Music Chat, because uh, organiser Phil Reed posting some updates nearer the time. If you want to go along to the set of a repair shop and see the park filled with mechanical organs in play, it really is a great event that they started last year. So that's Sunday, the 24th of September, a date for your diary. Um, thank you, David Burville. It's been lovely to catch up with you, mate. And thank you for congratulations for uh, putting your time ahead for the, the, the cause of getting the mechanical organ building on to the Heritage Crafts Register. Oh, you're very welcome, mate. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it is, um, yeah, very, very pleased, very, very pleased that we've, we've got this far with it, you know, and onwards and upwards. So there we are, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Thanks, David. Take care. Take care, mate. Cheers. Bye. Mechanical Music Radio's One Second Song. All right, tonight's One Second Song. Any good with this? <laughs> A uh, load of right answers. Fastest finger first, Andrew Rota, followed closely by Peter Mackett and Thomas Potter. Well done to Josh Lee in Red Roof and John Van Cleef in the Netherlands. Hi to Paul Rogers and Ben Jackson. Also Keith Pinner coming in with a right answer. And the other side of the world, we must say good morning to Newton and Gillian, who are starting their day bright and early listening to Mechanical Music Radio. Uh, also, we've got Mark Raven and Ingmar from GrindOrgans.com coming in with the correct one. Ashley, uh, Ashley Livers- Liversridge and his brother Ben, first time listening to Tuesday Night Live, he says he's enjoying it. So hello to Ashley's brother Ben. Uh, also, we need to say hello to William Frisk, Sean Brown, uh, Lawrence and Stuart Maltcrow. Hello to you guys. Denise Rogers, also got one here from Vicky who gets it bang on. Hi to Duncan Mallows. Um, God, we've had so many of these. Giller and Fradden gets it right, so it must be easy. And then we've got uh, several people like Mandy and Alan and Catherine in Callington giving it a go. Um, if I play you a little bit more, you'll probably get it. <laughs> Yes, it is in the mood. Here it is, the Oktoberfest organ as restored by David Burville.
It's the Oktoberfest organ. And thank you for joining us for that Tuesday Night Live with organ builder David Burville from a repair shop. And it really is good that mechanical organ building has been listed as an endangered craft, a bit of recognition, a bit of understanding about what we might be up against in the future. Yeah, we've got six very, very competent, very, very good full-time organ builders who've made um, a a real difference in this country uh, over the years. And they're full-time. There's plenty of other people who do it on a part-time basis who've got the skills. But the question is, are people in their 20s and 30s picking up these skills to continue things into the future? And that's what we need to think about. Uh, Thank you for listening. Uh, Stay tuned. Your request next after 10. Hello to Johnny in our Bureau's Palace and Niels in his workshop tonight in Holland getting in the requests. Also Lucy in the house listening and Thomas in Norfolk and many others getting their requests in the queue. Mechanicalmusicradio.com. Let us know what you want to hear and we'll play it next after 10. Enjoy. (laughs) 